global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness Day YouTube channel. So, a few hours ago, uh, Martin Amoede Group and, uh, of course, the lawmakers went all out insisting that um, uh, Fubara, the present governor of River State, cannot, in all honesty, continue to spend River's money. They went ahead to do the necessary things they believe is mandatory to stop and halt Fubara from going about spending River's money, according to them. Well, it looks like they have met another stumbling block as um there seems to be illegal there seems to be an embargo on rivers account and some pro democracy group have decided to act now. But well, before we go to the newspaper, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button beside it to say bad notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Now a pro democracy group that's uh, known as the People's Congress PC has dismissed the resolution of Martin and Mowele led Rivers Assembly purportedly suspended all expenditures of Governor Similayo Fubara until he represents his budget for the Factional House. Now, uh, before the Factional House, now it could be recalled that the Factional House of Assembly during a plenary on Monday announced the shutdown of all expenditures until Governor Similayo Fubara presents his budget before the House. Now, but in a statement signed by his president, Dr. Nicholas Udanta, made available as a few hours ago he said that the actions of the lawmakers were mere political grandstanding lacking legal basis and legitimacy now udanta said according to the law the lawmakers were no longer members of the river state of river state house of assembly having defected from the people's democratic party pdp to the all progressive congress apc he also, he also further described the resolution as an illegal joke stressing that Governor Fubara had in December 2023 signed the budget of 800 billion naira into law after presenting it before lawmakers led by the former speaker Edison Ehi. He emphasized that the purported resolution by Amawale and his colleagues is a distractive joke that should be disregarded. He noted that the only recognized reverse assembly According to the law and the people of River State, is the one led by Honorable Victor Oko Jumbo. We are deeply disappointed. Let me quote them word for word. He said, We are deeply di disappointed at the resolution of Martin Amowele and his co travelers, which purportedly suspends all expenditures of River's Governor Similaya Fubara until he represents his project before the House. First and foremost, Martin Amawele and his colleagues have lost their membership of the Rivers Assembly following their defection from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress on the 11th day of December 2023, as declared by the then Speaker Edison Nehi on 13th December 2023. Now, therefore, Martin Amawele and his colleagues lack the local standing to to make such demands from a democratically elected governor, their resolution is simply an illegal joke taken too far. We urge the governor to completely ignore their distracting, distracting actions. Secondly, the 2024 River State budget was signed into law in December 2023 after being presented and approved by the lawmakers led by the former Speaker Edison Ehi. Most of the project captured in the budget are either completed or nearing completion. Nowhere in the world is a budget presented twice, nor is there any state in Nigeria where a budget is presented to two houses of assembly. Most importantly, there is only one house of assembly in River State, which is led by Right Honorable Victor Oko Jumbo. That's the only one recognized by law and the people of River State, the Martin Amawele led faction Passing anti people's resolution doesn't represent the interest of rivers people but that of their pay masters. The latest resolution is nothing but a comical display of illegality. They are committing political suicide by continuously seeking to sabotage the developmental effort of Governor Similaya Fubara. Rivers people are watching. We urge the Governor Fubara to remain focused on his duties 
and not be swayed by these illegitimate groups' threat. Similarly, we advise the current speaker, Right Honorable Victor Okojobo, to ignore their distractions and continue to discharge his responsibilities with integrity. It is essential to recognize that the Amawale led group's action are mere political grandstanding, lacking legal basis and legitimacy. We assure the good people of River State that the authentic lawmakers are committed to serving their interests and ensuring that the state's progress the state progresses. We want the former lawmakers to desist from their illegal actions as they are no longer recognized as members of the River State Assembly. The attempt to disrupt the state governance will not be tolerated. He states, Wow, this is getting interesting. My colleague is in the house. What do you make of this new drama and this new pro democracy group you know, issuing this statement? Now, if you ask me, I think a more group should also get, you know, they should, they should start listening to the voice and the heartbeat of the people of River State. Well, they, what they did yesterday was they are trying to legitimize themselves. They are trying to legitimize themselves. They are trying to let the world know that we are in existence and uh, we are doing what we are supposed to do. But, you know, the first thing first should be done, and that is go and um, challenge the uh, injunction of the uh, Constitution. The Constitution provides that when you cross carpet to the other side, your seats are vacant, and he is who, he, who was then the Speaker House of uh, Assembly for River State came out clearly and said, these guys have defected by the provision of the Constitution, your seats are vacant. So going on to legislate, who are you legislating for? You have been sacked from a job, for example. A man has been sacked for a job and he's going around doing the job function of the position he had once been in. I mean, it, you're working for free as much as we know for a reasonable number of months now, they've not been paid their salary. So what are we saying? If you had so much power, you would have gone possibly to meet with the president or with whoever that is concerned and say, please, make sure that you don't pay him any of our, you don't push in our monies to the coffers of River State because we have been uh, stopped, our salaries have been stopped for this period of time. For me, it's a huge waste of time by him. You know, Martin Lamowale, he's not ready to decline. And I think Fubara should ignore them and do the necessary thing. Whoever that they are going to write to, because most people were uh, of the opinion that they may likely be writing to number one, the banks, that they should not allow Fubara to withdraw any money from the account of River State. And secondly, they may also send uh, a copy of that resolution alongside with a copy of the judgment, which has not been properly interpreted for them by their lawyers. They will likely be sending it as their own resolution, yesterday resolution, and a copy of that is, they might likely send it across to uh, the central bank uh, governor and also send it across to the minister of finance, and general of the, uh, sorry, uh, accountant general, accountant general of the federation, that they should not credit that account. That is if at the state level they cannot stop Fubara from withdrawing. So it's going to be a case of, you know, they will not credit the account and blah, blah. That, that's what we are going to see right now but be that as it may don't forget that these kind of things had happened some time ago and at least we far back in 2004 when Balame Tinibu was the governor of Lagos State he went ahead to create some local government which Obasanjo said is not possible and what Obasanjo did though he said he was running on zero allocation but that wasn't true he was actually the money meant for the local government which was paid into the joint account of you know, the, 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 the state was being stopped. So what he did was to make use of the monies in the state, create different avenues to raise revenue for the state. So internal generated revenue was increasing, and they were using that to survive. Don't forget that in the month of uh, April, similar in Fubara had already told Nigerians that the state generated as much as 26 billion naira for as internally generated revenue. And and those monies, I feel, have always been remitted to the Federation account, you know. So, right now, if uh, for any reason they have been stopped from withdrawing from that account, maybe the judiciary work in sync with these guys, uh, with the lawmakers, these so-called ex-lawmakers, because 
for me, based on the provision of the constitution, that ex lawmakers, if they decide to work with them, automatically, similar to Mara, might decide, you know, to be running the show with internally generated revenue. And that will just be it. And, but guess what? That is going to mess up the system more and more. And I think that's why a lot of people have the opinion that the president should walk into this case and see how he can, you know, do things legitimately. Because uh, if you have cross carpeted, you have left a party. And it's clearly spelled out that you have left that party. Your seats will be declared vacant as by virtue of you leaving it. And it's in the print. It is also in different places. Whether they say we did not go to APC. But what did they say? They say we have defected. Yeah. And they said it in the floor of the house. All their letters were being read. Nigerians hate it. And it is there in the minute of that plenary. So automatically, whether you did not defect to APC or what, but the truth is that you left the party. It's like somebody who left the husband's house, he had given divorce later to the husband, and he has left the husband's house. He said, I want to leave to go and marry this person. After one, he said, no, I did not marry the person. The truth is that you have divorced your husband, you have divorced your husband. So right now, as they are now, we are not, Nigerians are not listening to them, but what does the constitution provide? And the constitution says, if you defect, if you defect, you have defected. Whether you defected to any party, but the truth is that you excommunicated yourself. So, mm -hmm. from your party, so you're not a member of that political party. If you want to get yourself back, go and be re-elected by your own people to come and serve again. So, I think even the INEC, if they really understand the provision of the constitution, they should be up and running now. Making sure that within 90 days, that these guys, their, their position, um, they, they, they elect new people to take over that position. So that they can, the state can run effectively. As far as Nigerians are concerned now, if you look at River State right now, they have only three. That's why most people say you cannot run a state by with three, uh, these things, three uh, lawmakers. The big question is, let's ask of ourselves this question. If all the lawmakers, for some reasons, maybe all of them decide to die, or maybe uh, they decide to say we are not playing politics again at the up out, does it mean the state have to wait until when the day before they form a quorum? No. The three that are currently legally elected representative of their people they are the quorum right now and whatever decision they make stands and i think that's what they should uh, know well we could go on and on that's going to wrap it up let's meet in our conversation what's your take i just hope that global happenings today we communicate we analyze